Yeah. Okay, good afternoon, Wanda. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you, sir. Um, my name is Wanda Mutaza. I am currently a third year uh, mechatronics student at the university, um, at Nelson Mandela University. And today I'd like to uh, demonstrate a circuit with a solenoid and explaining some basic uh, co concepts with regards to how this circuit works, more particularly when it has a transistor and is um, operated by an Arduino, which is a microcontroller-based board. Um, <clears throat> so, firstly, all power starts off with the power supply. Now, this has two power supplies in technicality. There is the 12 uh, volt pack, which is going to be powering the solenoid, and then the 5 volt, which is going to be coming from the USB jack, which is going to be powering the Arduino. Now, the reason that there are two separate power supplies here is because um, the Arduino cannot handle the 12 volts, uh, the, the 12 volt power supply, also with the amperage that it would have because it could damage the circuit. Now, um, this, the, the, the Arduino here has a very basic function and basically acts as a switch. Um, but it is not the only quote unquote switch within the system to put it in layman's terms. Um, the transistor also acts as a switch, but it acts as an electric, uh, ele electrically uh, actuated switch in the sense that a signal is sent from the Arduino to the transistor, which uh, will be connected to the base pin, which then closes the circuit connected to the Arduino with the collector and emitter pins of the transistor. Now, um, when the signal uh, when the signal output in binary is zero, i.e. low in layman's terms, will <coughs> is zero, there needs to be a closed circuit and not have a floating pin. So one of the, 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 the base pin needs to be grounded, since that could eventually lead to problems when you get, when you get to more complicated um, circuits. Now, another very important component which is not visible currently is having a diode in the um, circuit, is having a diode in the circuit. That is because a solenoid basically is an inductive, uh, uh, is an inductive component and has a magnetic field. Now, when that magnetic field uh, collapses, what happens is that there will, the current flow will be backwards because, uh, because of the collapse of the magnetic field, as I mentioned, and what can cause, can damage the whole, um, circuit. Now, how a diode directs current in one direction is because in one direction it has a very low um, resistance and in the other it has a very high resistance. Now, it is very hard to bypass that, uh, that resistance but not impossible. When there is a high enough voltage, a high enough voltage within the circuit but um, it can have uh, flow in the opposite direction, but since we're not uh, using any uh, uh, a large enough voltage to do that, it would it should suffice for it will suffice for the circuit that we have here. Now we also have a fuse to basically in the circuit to basically act as a as protection for the the, the circuit. That is because um, solenoids. Have a, ten, have a tendency of drawing a lot of current than other um, electrical components and that could damage the, the, the circuit if not checked for. And also as general safety too, it's, general, uh, it's generally safe to have a fuse in. It's, 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 a, it's a better to err on the side of caution and have a fuse in your circuit, but it's more so, so prevalent when you have um, solenoids or even motors to an extent because they tend to draw a lot of current. Okay. Um, so now um, shall demonstrate the solenoid since this is a 
uh, uh, two-way solenoid, push, push and pull solenoid, uh, shall demonstrate it by connecting the, um, uh, the, the USB jack to the Arduino since the battery pack is already uh, connected. Now, what we will see here is that so what's happening here is that the Arduino is sending is sending a signal to the circuit. So basically, that the for one sec for it, 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 it actuates the solenoid and then delays for a second and then retracts and then waits for half a second and then um, goes forward and that is an infinite loop which shall um, persist until either we uh, cut either of the power supplies off basically um, <clears throat> now the reason we have this delay and a uh, delay in this is so that to allow it not to have firstly not to have too much recoil and secondly to allow the solenoid itself to be able uh, to function properly without wearing itself out as if it was going too fast it could um, uh, wear out yeah, it, it, the solenoid could basically wear out and that basically in the premise is what this uh, circuit accomplishes. Uh, oh, and another thing that I forgot to mention is that these uh, the, the, the two connections in the Arduino is one is connected to ground because you need to always make sure that your circuit is closed and complete. And the other is the one which sends the signal to uh, the base pin of the transistor. Now, the reason that these are the two primary pins which are connected here is one needs to be defined as the, signal, the, the one which sends the signal as if this was say a servo, you were working with a servo which has its own signal, um, uh, uh, signal output pin by itself and could be di directly connected to the Arduino but um, this, uh, this solenoid doesn't, most solenoids don't is so that this functions as that signal uh, which is controlled by the code which has been loaded onto the, the Arduino. Arduino itself and yeah, yeah that's, that's it. About it and now yes. can you tell us what you have learned in the last two weeks and where we started or from from the first time from the moment you walked in here uh, so I've learned. Just explain to them that you came to us for. I came. I came here for a uh, vocational training um, to be able to gain real so. hands-on experience and real-world experience and see um, all the theory I have been studying for the past two years actually um, in, in 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 real practice because with knowing the things on paper not actually working with them you don't fully get the, 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 the whole encapsulation of how this how these things actually work as for example um, the transistor that we were using I had studied I had we basically had a whole um, module just studying transistors I didn't fully understand them I could calculate them on paper but did not fully understand them until I worked with Similar with relays. Rel uh, relays was something that I was taught in high school, yet did not understand how they worked. I just knew that there were different types for different functions, but didn't understand the mechanisms which go into them and how they actually work, which are all things that I learned here amongst other invaluable things, such as understanding to a very simplistic degree how Arduinos work and how other forms of, of, of uh, integrated circuits might work uh, outside of just um, basic pins with uh, basic logic, basic logic um, and or and or and NAND systems basically. Um, and this has shed light to a large degree about many of things that felt distant 
but now they seem much more achievable and much more feasible in the fact that they, 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 I get to work with them in person and understand in front of my eyes, oh, if this happens in the circuit, when I have this component, this is the, fu this is the function that will serve. And I'm um, being able to discern and, uh, which components could be used when other components are not available to achieve a similar function and have the same outcome, or even in some cases, a better outcome. As this could all be, uh, the Arduino could be taken out and uh, the, 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 the transistor in the circuit could also be taken out and you could use a switch, but that um, would have shortcomings in the sense that if you have a push button switch, it, um, the, the current could be, would be too much for it and eventually it would wear out. Thus, basically, you'd be making something which would be lost. And one of uh, the most important things within engineering is trying to make things which have the ability to last than something which works now and two seconds later doesn't. And also, could you use what you have learned? You've seen what we do with computer boxes, ECUs, those microcontrollers. Could you use that to, the knowledge that you gain building this, could you use that and apply it to to a, to a vehicle? Uh, yes, sir, because at the heart of, uh, say, computer boxes is... A microcontroller. Um, it are microcontrollers, and the basic system which is used here is also used there, where, with some components which uh, might have some of these things integrated within them and have diodes to prevent... Um, uh, 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 a, a solar, uh, something with a coil inside, uh, a coil inside of it, um, having fly, flyback voltage. Um, but now you might have a situation where that isn't necessarily the case, and that component isn't there. And if you don't understand the fundamental basics of how these things are, how these things operate, and how you would work to find and a solution for them, you can't actually um, uh, go on to more to complex. Them and more, more complex even understanding something as basic as power is very vital is very vital and understanding how say your, your 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 power supply might fail what reasons it might fail and stuff like current draws or yes how also, everything ties together tied together with power and understanding um what mechanisms are there to say repair something with regards to power which is also something that i learned here prior to me coming here with two years of university i did not even know that uh battery management system was a thing that even existed but here i learned the ins and outs of it uh, ins and outs of it and learned how to build your own you built our, our our power supply for for a tool of ours yes sir and that was all within the knowledge that i gained here without ever having that prior knowledge, but also, it also broadened my horizons outside what um, my curriculum was going to offer me and has made me see not more, the, the experience that I've gained here has made me see that a lot more is possible, possible, even when you might think that you don't have those resources to do it, you can do it with enough uh, initiative and yep. want you to know more. And most of most of the resources we used, we salvaged equipment, we... The, um, the you know, equipment which was already used, second-hand uh, equipment, like, for instance, this uh, uh, battery pack that we have here was salvaged from another battery pack of another, uh, of another thing and was charged up and now we are using it for... Some this. of the components we salvaged from a board as well, from... Yes, uh, for instance, the diode here was uh, salvaged from, what, uh, from, from uh, another board which is here. And with also the, 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 the fuse that we're using here is not a fuse which you'd use with bread bits. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a car fuse. So um, being able also to think outside of the box and see what you have and try and come up with a solution that way is also an invaluable lesson that I learned here, which is not something which you necessarily find on a piece of paper and being taught uh, at school at some point. So, so 
it's a, it's, a, it's been a very illuminating and, and yeah, it's been a very illuminating experience. All in all. And how would you rate my approach to training you? Uh, it has been above and beyond, sir, because um, just feeding someone information doesn't that doesn't let that person engage okay. with that information and think about it and try and find a solution because a person is not always going to be there to uh, to spoon feed you the information. And the way that uh, uh, you've been training me and you've given me certain tasks to do and um, uh, having me find solutions to those problems has illuminated me and also has boosted my uh, uh, problem solving skills in a large extent because now I, I I can more so break things down into their components and try and find out what is the basis of all of this before moving forward because if you don't know the basics you don't have a proper foundation it's like you're building a house in sand and it will eventually crumble. Perfect. Thank you very much Wanda. Pleasure sir.